to when you're out to media or public eye in any little capacity or big capacity um <laughs> oh, we know you're gonna get judgment and whatnot and the reason why like i've actually been online more recently since i met danny it's not because he's been barring me <laughs> because it's not at all actually it's because he's given me more confidence because everyone who knows me knows that about 10-15 years ago I started doing media stuff and then um, and then I lost all my confidence last year when I was nearly died in hostel looking like a hedgehog as my daughter's described me um, but then now doing stuff with him like brings my confidence back to be able to do what I want um, but what we've realised is since being online together is still the amount of judgement and I wouldn't be able to cope with it if I want with you, definitely. Um, because I feel like he's got worse from when I started out. It's like well, even when I did Britain's Got Talent and all that lot, it was nowhere near as bad as it is now where people... It's lovely that people feel like they know you, that they can say everything. Yeah. But at the same time... People don't know you. Yeah. You don't know. You only know what, what we want you to know what we put online, what whatever we're doing, whatever capacity, whatever reporters say, you know, and sometimes the, the truth gets twisted, but like, for myself, it's, I, I get fat, grotesque, I'm gonna kill myself, I'm gonna leave my kids on their own, and all that jargon. Yeah, and what we've noticed is, like, I'd never realise how awful it is until I was poorly and really thin and then now being with you as well realizing all the like hatred and stuff still and it's not I don't even think it's hatred I think it's more people are insecure so they share the love in the wrong way and um, so like with this too like I get it all the time aren't I at the moment <laughs> about the way I look and the only reason I could be with Danny is that um because I'm digging your gold or whatever. Yeah, apparently she's a gold digger, but I, I don't think that's right because I've got no gold to dig, first of all. Yeah, uh, digging <laughs> up wrong tree yeah, to show I up. mean, to be honest, I haven't even got no bronze. <laughs> Never mind gold. But, uh, but again, it's all on perceptions, isn't it? Because people think that, like with me, you, you always just, people still judge books by the covers, don't they? Well, it's, the thing is, the thing is, it, the people judge me and they say, oh, you need to go to gym, you need, I'm not a gym man. I can't go there and spend my life lifting weights three or four times a day, looking at myself in a mirror. I'd rather be out having fun, enjoying time with my family, enjoying time with this beautiful woman, than wasting blinking time and thinking, looking at myself in a mirror thinking I look good. Do you know why? Because I look at myself and I look good. Do you know why I look good? Because I feel good. And I feel good because I look good. Because my body loves me and I love my body. And I love his body too. Uh, well, it's the beach <laughs> time. Yeah, so we're, we're off to the beach now. We're off um, to the thing, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And if anyone ever questions why I love this man, it is bloody crazy. It's such a crazy question, but you can ask him, me Because he is the you know nicest, what? funniest. Because he makes me laugh. And up, honestly, I get like free care at home. Yeah. You know, like, he's, he's putting in his Look hours before I have to care for him. Look after her. You do, you do. You make sure I check, take my meds in the morning. You make you know sure it is. that I'm not too stressed or I'm eating. Doesn't and... cost nothing. No time. Doesn't cost money to say, are you all right, love? Are you okay? And then if she's not, just have a little bit of time. And this is what I'm talking about. Huh? If I were down the gym pumping iron three hours in the morning, I couldn't do that, could I? No, I could hire because so yeah. here we go. You can pump iron with me, look. Yeah, and that's what you do, don't you? Yeah. So we have long chats and I'm there squatting and doing yeah, she's squatting, exercises. Lifting, lifting kettlebells, talking away to me. And it's not that I'm too lazy to do it by far. It's I choose not to do it and that's it. It's a choice in life. Yeah, and people don't realise with me, like I'm definitely neurodivergent, so I have to move to concentrate, whereas other people need to sit down. It's just respect, isn't it? Yeah. And like, and the, I think the 
epitome of why we are together is because we gel so well and I've, oh. I have wet myself so much since being with this yeah. Nick and one man. Of Peter, Nick and one of Peter cares because that's what you all yeah, think I do. We're, yeah. we're like magnet and steel. Uh. We go together like magnet and steel. And we have such a laugh. So that's enough serious yeah. stuff from us. Because it will be, we just like to, because obviously it just looks like we're having fun all the time, which we do. Yeah. But we have a lot of tears and serious chats as well. But most of all, a lot of, a lot, a lot of laughs. A lot of love. Right. See you soon. Bye. Oh yeah, apparently I don't kiss you, so. Oh. Mm. So we're talking in the dark, but normally we have the lights on, <laughs> no matter what we do. It's all about body confidence because we've all been judged in many different ways. I myself have been lots of different sizes and all my days there was nothing like being judged for being too skinny the other year. And I'd actually built myself up to feeling confident and then I lost lots of weight through ill health um, and the comments I stopped going out I could show up a bit online um, but I just could not like continue whereas you've had different things like online Kim and Danny as well and um, how have you reacted or coped oh, hey. yeah <laughs> um, yeah it, it's it's been a bit of a learning curve really I think uh, it's hard you know what Kim I I know what you're saying, it, yeah. it's hard and so when I first started out on YouTube it was difficult because it wasn't so much me reading these comments, mm. it's my kids that read these comments and, and when people are commenting about the size of me and that I could be mm. putting myself into an early grave doing what I'm doing because I'm, I'm reviewing food, they don't understand what I do outside of that so uh, mm. I have regular health checkups, uh, I don't eat the full takeaways that I'm reviewing uh, and they don't they don't know this and I I think sometimes people that the trolls that are on there they just they, they must have something going on in their life yeah. to be be sat trolling you and saying like when, they, when they're at me and they're saying all this stuff I, I feel sorry for them in a way yeah. that's how I look at it I think they must have some kind of issue and if I ever come yeah. face to face with them I'd ask him I'd just say are you, are you all right yeah. are you okay and, like I said before, it's you know your you, your body image, your body doesn't define the person yeah. that you are, yeah. and it doesn't matter if you're somebody that's you know this washboard ripped stomach yeah. or a big chubby guy like me, you know, just yeah. because you you, you one or the other that doesn't define who you are, and I'm quite happy with yeah. how I am, and I've 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 lost weight before. I, I went. I did 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 a, did a lot of fitness stuff, and I did slimming well. Then I lost nearly three stone. But when I got really thin, I didn't like mm. how I was because I sort of lost the persona of me mm. being that chubby, funny guy. I didn't yeah. like it. So and yeah. it's it's you know I think quite a lot of the comments as well that are quite negative. It almost proves a lot of the time like what we're saying and what you know body image fitness is fighting against and you know we fight against you know fat phobia and fat phobia seems to be socially quote-unquote acceptable bullying basically at the yes. end of the day and you know it, it's it's done to the guise of health but you can't have physical health without mental health so it's completely irrelevant and it's just an excuse for being a bit of a dick to someone yeah really. and anyone who's got any nouse about health know that weight's just like one mm. indicator it doesn't necessarily mean no. whether you're underweight or overweight that you're unhealthy it's like it's one indicator yeah. of health yeah and, and the thing yeah. is a lot of people that struggle with with weight issues so it's like myself i could eat healthy every mm. single day Right, yeah, and it, it probably it wouldn't make that much of a difference. Mm. Right, I'd, I'd have to put the exercise in, yeah. but it's some people that get up and they dedicate to going to the gym and jogging and all this. But I want to dedicate that time to my family. Yeah. I don't want to be spending hours and hours, yeah, yeah, doing all this stuff. Yeah. So if I could just do, you know, something for an hour, yeah, that'd be great. But people that say, oh yeah, you, you're fat, you can sort it out yourself. It's not always that easy no. because then there's people have underlying health conditions yeah, and yeah. people think, oh, look at the size of him. How do you know that there's yeah, not something yeah. wrong with that person there? Exactly. And it's to, to judge somebody on the size of them 
and the body image for me it just it, it just shows that I don't think that person's comfortable with their self. Okay. If you're looking at somebody, I don't judge anybody on how they look mm. because I'm comfortable with myself. I'm not bothered. I'll walk to a swimming pool, whip my top off, mm. get my man boobs out and get my flabby <laughs> belly out and run around because that's me yeah. and I'm going to have fun. And if somebody doesn't like the way they look, look the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look the other that's way. That's the thing I think a lot of it's to do is to do with genetics as well. Yeah. Um, you get, you know, the sort of typical fitness influencers are saying, oh, if you just exercise like me and eat like me, then you'll look like me. And actually, that's really, really not true. Yeah. And I, I'm the same. Like, I, I, the only time that I managed to get to healthy, quote unquote, in the BMI is when I was massively disordered eating and disordered um, relationship towards exercise. And if I'd have carried on then it i would have been really really ill but yeah. i looked well i looked and i got so much praise um and now i'm actually healthy physically and mentally a hell of a lot healthier than i was when i was like a size 10 um but now i'm getting all the abuse saying i'm, I'm unhealthy and like it's crazy it's, it's absolutely crazy what what what, what does so like doing what what, what, what you two are doing like, mm. with the body image stuff is great to encourage people to get involved with that so why are for me why are people coming in and criticizing mm. you for doing what you're doing mm. right you, you, you're happy in what you're doing yeah right you're happy in what yourself but these people that are trolling are coming on because they've got nothing else better to do mm. they're not happy with themselves they think it's funny they're nothing but bullies yeah. And, people, and that's what I think we palm off trolling now is just like oh it's just trolling like back mm. in the day trolling was just where someone disagreed with your point of view mm. but now it's just yeah. like bullying, bullying. Yeah. it's like yeah. abusive yeah. and it's, it's bullying. bullying but these people if, if if you saw them in the street so I've had it happen once right mm. when when I first started there was a, a guy who used to come onto my videos and he wasn't having a go at me, we were having a direct swipe at my family and it irritated mm. me. And I thought, oh, what can I do about this? And I found out he worked in the next village right. in a car garage. Mm. So I went down and I went in mm. and I went, all right, pal, how are you doing? And he's like, all right, Danny, how you doing, mate? And I went, all right, Danny, how are you doing, mate? Mm. I said, you're coming on and you're, you're having a go yeah. At my family, oh mate, it's just all it's just all bants in it. Oh, That's what it was like. It's just all bants, but it's not not no. when it's not when it's for me. People can say what they want to me because I'm thick skinned So if somebody can walk up and call me fat, horrible, yeah. ugly, whatever, I ain't bothered unless it's somebody that I care yeah. about that says it. Then everybody else that says it, it's like water off a yeah. duck's back. But when you're having when people are going on and they're, they're having a swipe about my family or people I care about, then that's a different yeah. thing, and. It's it's all about for me, you know. If you feel good in yourself, mm. no matter what size you are, just just go for it. Just yeah. do what you want to do. Yeah. Live life. If people want to have a go, let them have a go, and just you know, don't 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 listen to it because the negative people in this world, you don't need them in yeah. your life. So, like for you, advice for you for me doing it for two years mm. is. I will, I, there'll be an upload of my video will be going on it next half hour. Mm. Right, I can guarantee you within two hours there'll be some clown on there mm. having a go about summit. Mm. And I read it and I laugh and I move on. Yeah. Because it happens every single time. Yeah. And it's just words. Yeah. It's just words. You you know in your mind that what you're doing, you're happy with it. Mm. All right. You're happy with the way you look. Yeah. You're, you know, nobody's perfect. So, and it's also just thinking like people aren't invincible so whilst mm. you've done amazing work leading this kind of body image revolution don't mean that you'll never feel like yeah. have those hang-ups or those moments like we all do about certain things mm. and if people trigger a kind of painful part of you that's where you do need to all yeah. come together yeah. and just go like Sophie or whoever <laughs> like what do you think of this because then yeah. that just takes the power away yeah. from that person whoever the keyboard warrior is and often it's people who are envious because they want to do what you're doing mm. or they're stuck in their like monotonous way yeah. so like with danny mm. who's my partner i've always said 
like before I met him. I'd much rather a guy enjoy his food yeah. and enjoy life and have fun than um, be there sat with Tupperware yeah. and hating life yeah. and, and that's being the thing, negative. Well, yeah. People wouldn't put me and Sophie together because I'm a big lad. Yeah. She, she's into fitness, all right? Yeah. And that's all well and good, but she, you know, I could guarantee you this now. She could go out for a meal with somebody from yeah. gym, and they'd sit eating carrot sticks yeah, or whatever, yeah. right? But she'd go out with me, and she'd be coming out of there with a with an aching stomach yeah, because yeah. we'd be laughing that much. And yeah. that's the difference. And so, one person, right, who's, who's, who's probably a prime example of being in the public eye, right, is for me is is that Rebel Wilson, you know, that Australian. Yeah. And she she's lost a lot of weight, mm. but for me, I think she's lost too much mm. because it's changed her personality. And when she were in the uh, what is it when they do all that singing, I forgot what they call films. Oh, Pitch Perfect. Yeah, Pitch Perfect. Yeah. When she were in them, right, and she will be, I thought she was fabulous. Mm. All right, and I thought she was beautiful mm. because of the and it's not just how somebody it's your personality yeah. and when you start changing your physical appearance sometimes that can take away your personality because you, you people are putting an impression on you of how you're to be when you're thin and when she were big she were like on those films dancing about oh, doing all that yeah. stuff giving it all this and slapping her belly up and all <laughs> that and it were great yeah. but then if she did that film again those comedy moments would not be there because she's not like that. So it's it's yeah. changed her as a person for me. And that's sometimes what you've got to look at. It's all right being somebody that's criticizing people because they've got a bit of chub on them. Yeah. But you know, that bit of chub might make somebody happy, make, make somebody else happy. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Life is about yeah. being who you want to be, doing well, what you want to do. We were saying in there, um, when Sophie was talking about you and um, your ears must have been burning a lot, I was fast on. <laughs> but um, you were saying that you like your body, yeah. and I was like, "There's nothing sexier than than a guy that likes yeah. their body." You don't you don't want to be with, or or a woman, or, or you know any gender. You don't want to be with somebody that is counting every single calorie and that's so anxious and that doesn't let themselves go and you know as in let themselves go and as, and, and have yeah. fun. Um, and I think it can completely take over your you know your whole persona and and you, you know your whole life if you're focusing so much on trying to be something that's socially yeah. acceptable it does take away a lot and if I you're think, regimented right mm. into getting up exercising mm. calorie counting you know, doing these regimes three or four times a day, even if you're doing it as a job, as a PT, and mm. you're doing all this right. If you've got a family, effectively what you're doing there by doing that to make yourself look good and feel good, for me personally, is you're taking away time that you should be mm. spending with your family, right? So, you know, it's not really the chubby people that's got the problem. It's the people that are on it all the time mm wanting to make themselves look great, that are wasting yeah. precious seconds and minutes with yeah. loved ones because they want to be walking down the street looking like they've got a muscle on their arm when really yeah. nobody really gives a toss about well, how you look. that's the thing. It's like once, once I stepped away from all of that, my mind was able to focus on like my business and building you know and, and and trying to like as cheesy as it sounds like ch like change the world and i think the what the way that the world sees people in, in larger bodies and i think that y you're it takes up so much headspace when you're focused on food and exercise to the point where it just you don't have the capacity to think about yeah, anything yeah. else and this is the whole thing it's just like you know this whole cliche of like food freedom um you your mind becomes so much more free once mm. you can start focusing on other on yeah. other things like so. i like massively believe in intuitive eating mm. like listening to your body and feeding it and self-care but at the same time i think 
beyond all that is focusing on being happy yeah so rather than lots of reels and fasting and intermittent fasting i've been and done and yeah. tried every single thing possible and i'm easily swayed by what people say because i have had disordered eating in the past yeah. but then as soon as i like like i feel happy working with you yeah. and being <laughs> being in bed for you. Oh. Yeah, I mean like being with you. Well, let's get it on. Let's <laughs> get it into another video. Um, but, like, and I must say, she does play with my man boobs as well. Mm. She loves them. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. I'm, I'm proud of them. And, yeah. I, and, I, and I joke. With the new year, everyone's talking about their body image. Or a lot of people are who are still on diet wagon and I totally get it and I totally understand it because I've been on it numerous of times but honestly we're just off to pull in sunny to Egypt um, and I can honestly say from someone who's had eating disorders and has battled their body for years it is not worth it happiness in it Danny yeah, it's you're the best awesome. thing for your body oh chicka 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 just be good to yourself <laughs> You look like your Benadorm then. We're in Tegip. Great might take away custom made t shirt with. What is it? Avengers on. Avengers. Look, I've got my big fire belly going on. I love it. Here. Make the most of your assets and carry just be happy. Carrying Sophie's handbag as usual. Back yeah, up. do your lunges. And then I've got all, 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 big boys on the back. Big boys on the back, that's how we all like it. You look like um, big boys on the back. <laughs> But honestly, like I've been chatting to Kim at Body Image Fitness because we're working together this new year. And I can honestly say being happy in yourself, exercising, we're doing early morning workouts every morning, um, but just moving a bit more every day is one of the best surefire ways just to make yourself feel good. You like a bit of movement, don't you? But me? Yeah, both of you. Yeah, I like movement like this. Oh. Burger, um. But no, no year, no me. Just do what you can do and be happy with yourself. Exactly, and so happiness. Exactly. You. I'd rather a guy with a six can, six six bottles of water than I was going to say six, six cans pack. of no than no, a six pack. pack. I don't want, want a, a six barrel. pack. Yeah, I'd rather. A well, I'd rather a barrel of happiness yeah, than a true. six pack. Barrel of happiness. That's true. Lots Smile of, on your face. Exactly. And let's do this new year. Because that's the best way to start the day and new year. Is to just feel good and do something. Just put on some tunes and have a jiggle. You gotta be good. You gotta feel good. You gotta be good, 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 good. good. Have a jiggle, George. Look, look, follow his dance moves, just like his dad's. <laughs> we can dance. We can all dance. Peace, love. Hold on, you're gonna have to hold it. Oh. Peace, George Keen. Oh, sorry, love. Can I move it and groove Peace, it? Peace, love. Jimmy. Move it and groove it. Yeah, we can move it and groove it. Oh, we can all move it and groove it. We can all move it and groove it. We can all move it and groove it.